Um, our company is dedicated to bringing molecular diagnostics to the point of care. Um, it's a timer? Okay. Um, this is, of course, very ambitious, and it hasn't happened because it's very expensive to do so. But uh, if you do so, you can improve quality of care at much lower cost. And this is one of the key drivers in healthcare. Uh, to illustrate my point, I'm going to show you the impact on uh, antibiotic resistance alone. Um, no, how does this thing work? There we go. No, oh, this one at the right side. Okay, <laughs> these are not, uh, not the slides that I had submitted. Um, uh, we had revised them, but anyway. Um, it, it's obviously a big impact. Um, uh, it's, it's billions of dollars around the world, but not just in developing countries, also in developed countries. In the U.S. alone, tens of thousands of people die unnecessarily in the hospitals because they acquired an infection that cannot be treated by existing antibiotics. And uh, this is, of course, a, a problem that must be addressed. How does it come about? I think the next slide will be also not. Um, cool. uh, so let me just uh, improvise and, and go through the presentation that I had submitted in the end, which is um, um, the, the uh, antibiotic uh, resistance is, is a result of 70% of all antibiotics being fed to animals. Industrial, uh, industrialization of the food supply forces farmers to feed a lot of antibiotics, and in hospitals with increasing urbanization, overprescription, and so on, there's a lot of causes uh, that uh, result in um, antibiotic resistance on the increase. And um, a fact is, statistically, worldwide, the more antibiotics we put out there, the more resistance occurs. Furthermore, um, uh, it is the time span from a new antibiotic being used to uh, antibiotic resistance is shrinking dramatically. So um, this shows you, gives you a measure of the impact worldwide, not just in developing countries, but in developed countries. I hope I get to some of the slides I can use here for. So the, 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 the answer is simple. You must have a highly capable technology, molecular diagnostic technology, and make it available very easy to use, and cost is a key factor here that was not uh, 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 hit. Yet, when you solve the problem, and I think we have, um, then you can provide a sample to answer a technology that's very easy to use. It's uh, touch screen operated, it's sample to answer. We have shown it for gram positive, gram negative, uh, RNA, DNA, DNA viruses, single stranded, double stranded, everything. And we have shown it for environmental samples as well as uh, clinical samples. Um, this work has been done with funding from the government in recognition that no such technology is existing right now out there. And um, we have developed so far a biothreat panel that is based on environmental swabs, water, and air samples. And we have developed a upper respiratory panel. To give you a measure, this is a, a 25 plex uh, sample. If you want to go anywhere, near a 25 plex molecular diagnostic sample to answer, you have to go to a centralized lab. It's very expensive. And most labs will do this only with um, a weak turnaround time, streaking out plates, and things of that nature. Um, so we believe, um, let me show you an example. So uh, our, our sample input is basically 50 microliters of a liquefied sample. We can use uh, water. We can use nasal swabs, urine, what? Whatever a sample stool would have to be more liquefied, a little filtration can do this. Um, so this is how the box looks like. Um, when you look at uh, comparable uh, molecular diagnostic technology, it's a bigger instrument, and it's uh, always a computer on the side that drives it. Our computer is integrated. It's all touch screen. It's the size of a size uh, 8 or 9 ski boot. It's maybe the, the weight of two ski boots. It's uh, touchscreen operated. It's very intuitive. And um, I show you, um, did I mention all the attributes? No service is required. It is plug and play out of the box. And I, I have some videos that I showed in the demonstration. You literally take this thing out of the box, put it on any bench, and it's ready to go. That's also unprecedented. Um, it is requiring no service. Our innovation was concentrated on the chemistry. The chemistry allowed us to do away with a lot of fluidics, 
with uh, and, and simplify the optics dramatically. So now the components in this instrument are LED lights, uh, uh, the CMOS chip that drives, drives your smartphone camera. That's all the optics we need. And we have our own uh, proprietary polymer, which is, again, we pay no licenses to anybody that is very favorable for the cost model. And so this in entire thing is a, a purpose designed uh, to allow components of, of uh, mass manufactured components to be useful. And uh, it's very easy to use in this context. Um, uh, we have gone to the prototype stage. We have eight prototypes. And they have been validated. It's early stage, but they have been validated recently by an Asian company that came and they brought uh, patient samples in their shirt pocket, believe it or not. And even though they were degraded to a certain extent, we nailed it 100%. And in one case, we showed them a co-infection that they didn't know about because they don't have multiplex testing. So such is the quality when you have multiplex testing. And these guys, in their suits, they have pictures. We made them do it. Follow our instruction sheet and do it yourself because the workflow is very easy. You load a sample, like a 50 microliters of a liquefied sample, into a, a, a consumable that's the size of a matchbox. Um, and then you remove the protective cover of the chip. The chip is a simple chamber, one sim single chamber, which has basically a microarray within the chamber. So we have a one single directional flow, which is very, very easy in terms of fluidics. It's not even microfluidics, so it's very robust, and it can handle nice volumes. And, uh, the, uh, and, and it's a lyophilized reagent, so all you need to do is add your sample, which comes in a buffer or with the liquid, like in the nasal wash case, and this is all the liquid you need to drive this. And within one hour or less, you get the 25 results for one sample. And with molecular diagnostic precision, when we go th the full hour, we detect down to two, three molecules. It's as good as any technology out there. And the workflow is as simple as that. You pipette the 50 microliters, you close it, insert it into the instrument, press go, and you get outcomes. For distributed testing in doctor's offices, for first responder and for nurses use, we do simply a yes, no, here you have flu B or whatever co-infection. If you, if you uh, we also provide more sophisticated data analysis, which is running, it's quantitative, the method. You can press on flu B and then you see underlying quantitative curves that show that. Um, next one here. Oh, that's a really important one. The, the business end is the consumable. That's the key. We have to be profitable here because we give the instrument away. We will not charge for the instrument. And so we have to make profit here. This piece, this is a lot of work to get to this point. It's four plastic pieces that I can snap together by hand. There's, the chip is more involved because it is our, our um, polymer onto which we spot these uh, oligonucleotides that are based on target sequence. Our turnaround time is like two months to spot it. FDA approval would take longer, but an Ebola challenge would have been trivial for us. Uh, like 20 different strains or so to show that. Um, uh, and and the, the cost of this is designed to compete with lateral flow single test uh, um, um, uh, devices, these uh, ELIR builds those antibody based tests. They're less, less precise and they're equally costly. So we think that is a, this is a game changer. Um, I pointed out that the, the instrument is based on, 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 uh, on mass manufactured components, which allows us to price it very favorably or, or give it away free. Um, uh, so the major challenge uh, is, is, is really this. Better patient outcomes uh, at lower cost require uh, better healthcare everywhere. We think we enable healthcare not just in the, the, the rich labs that can afford it, but small hospitals, uh, walk-in clinics will be able to afford it. Uh, the solution is universal use of more capable technologies. I pointed to the CMOS chip that drives your smartphone camera. Um, uh, LED lights. Uh, we, we took a gamble and predicted that in, uh, when we started a few years ago that LEDs will be better and they got better and they got a lot cheaper. And um, so there is the proprietary technology is, is protecting, of course, the chemistry that makes it all possible because you cannot do it without the chemistry. And this is based on deep experience. Um, uh, the other slide set that I had in mind uh, has a team picture. And the team picture would show you, would document very clearly we needed uh, people that can handle astronomy 
uh, algorithms for for signal detection and and uh, uh, analysis. Or we have a, I took a guy out of retirement, 67 years old, who developed the capillaries for all the sequencing capillaries with which the human genome was sequenced. And this takes that kind of um, uh, deep and broad experience and then the motivation to make an, a dent in healthcare and make this uh, cheaper. Um, I don't remember this. So uh, we were incorporated in May 2010. We have received over $30 million in DHS uh, funding that comes from the Science and Technology Directorate. It's sort of a mini DARPA. Um, we have developed with this next generation molecular diagnostic platform. I can safely say that the technical risks have been retired. And the company has obviously capabilities that are very broad ranging, assay design and development, surface chemistry, instrumentation, consumable software, uh, systems integration, uh, quality systems, adaptive manufacturing, which is uh, part of the, these mass manufacturer uh, um, components that we integrate. Um, yes, in summary, our technology is low cost in a very easy to use package. It's deployable anywhere. It can be run by anyone and it's self-contained because when you add the sample, you close it, that's it. You then throw it simply in the biological uh, garbage. I, I want to point out the, 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 the other slide set has a, a photograph of a seven-year-old girl. Uh, she's the daughter of a, uh, one of our employees who coaches her soccer team. Without instructions, we gave her one piece, a one sheet, instructional sheet, like these a, a, a Asian visitors also used, and she was able to use this successfully. Try this with any molecular diagnostic technology out there today. So we're very proud of the accomplishments so far. All right, that's it. Oh, sorry. We have about two minutes for okay. uh, questions. So, um, I'd like to know um, how, when, when you will be in the market if you're not in the market already, and how you anticipate your competitors will react to this. What, what will they do? That's a, that's a good question. Um, so, we think it, proper funding provided. Um, uh, by 2017, we can have a clear wave FDA approved device. Um, our predicate device, we go with the upper respiratory panel to get FDA approval, and we would have a subset of the hospital-geared 25-plex uh, upper respiratory panel for outpatient uh, care. So by 2016, we can have the environmental uh, uh, swab taking one. It's the same, right? We can detect any kind of organism, um, uh, and we do this with environmental swabs, and they don't require FDA regulation. So uh, we, we could uh, obtain revenue um, from this uh, uh, stage. So I would think it goes environmental, then it goes hospital, and then it goes uh, outpatient distributed testing. And competitive reaction? A competitive reaction, hopefully panic. Um, uh, i give you an example. The, the most comparable technology recently sold to a French company for $500 million. It is a $75,000 instrument. It has a separate computer. It cannot quantitate. It is a very, uh, it takes 14 steps to go from sample to answer. And so I feel very confident, uh, confident that we will uh, disrupt that significantly. That's it. Okay.